Hey everybody, it's Jody, and I am super excited because I have a very, very special unboxing for you today. You may recall this video in which I reviewed it, a bamboo tenor ukulele that was generously sent to me by Acklot. And I really enjoyed that ukulele. I had a couple like minor critiques, mainly about the design of the ukulele. And I had a subscriber by the name of Daniel who um, offered to um, make some customizations and adjustments on the ukulele for me. And I said, sure, why not? So I sent him the ukulele and it has come back to me today. So I'm very, very excited to take a look at this and see what Daniel has done. Daniel has a his own YouTube channel, which I'm going to put a link below. He's very talented and he knows a lot about ukuleles and he knows how to um, make adjustments on them and he's sharing his wealth of knowledge on his YouTube channel. So I'll post, post a link to that um, below. So let's take a look. Um, I, I opened the box and that's it. I just untaped. Um, that's all I did. So let's take a look guys. Here we go. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. Turn that around. Okay, here it is, my old friend. And he, um, he typed me out a letter um, telling me what he did to the ukulele. And um, yeah, so we'll go over that in just a moment. Here's my bamboo Aklat fully modified ukulele. A, a gift to his favorite YouTube creator. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm really excited. This is um, I've already, I already really liked this ukulele and I know the changes he's made to it and this is my first look and wow. <laughs> okay, let's get it out here. <gasps> okay. Wow, we gotta take a look at this first, right here. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so you may recall my biggest gripe with the bamboo ukulele. Let's, let's move in a little closer. All right. So you may recall my biggest gripe with the bamboo ukulele was that it said designed by Aklot right here on the front of the ukulele, which I just didn't care for. I don't want the brand branded on the top of my ukulele. And Daniel suggested a Girl Meets Uke um, logo on the front. So he did that. Look at that. He routed that out and put that in there. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. Um, so we've got Girl Me Juke right there, right there on the front. I like the um, the font used for it. Very cool. Um, the other things, so these are the original tuners. It, it was black and um, gold tuners. And if you recall, it had silver strap buttons, which I just thought that was a missed opportunity. So he replaced those with black and gold strap buttons then he replaced the nut and saddle with black tusks okay sorry somebody called in on my phone and stopped the recording okay so i was talking about the saddle he replaced the saddles with black tusk and then he replaced the fret markers with black mother of pearl because the old fret markers were white and really hard to see against this pale bamboo. Um, he also replaced the side markers with black, black plastic, I believe. Um, he dressed and filed down the frets. It's super smooth. Um, right here, there was um, two failed glue joints he repaired. He also put a new satin finish on this and he changed the bridge out to a through design because he said that gives it a, a better break angle. And then he put black Fremont strings on it. Wow, how very cool. Let's see if I got it all right, Daniel. Let's see if I got it all right. I repaired the cracks, there were two on the lower belt. Um, 
he said keep it well hydrated so that doesn't happen again. He replaced the fretboard markers and the bridge screw hole plugs with Black Mother of Pearl. Oh yeah, he did it right here too, Black Mother of Pearl. Um, side markers, black plastic, removed uh, the bridge to do routing necessary to install the inlay, and then the bridge reset and reinstalled. Um, made a, a through bridge to get a proper brake angle over the saddle. The tie bridge holes are too large, causing the brake angle over the saddle to be way too shallow. Also, there's so little bamboo at the top of the tie bridge above the holes that it would be very likely to pull apart. Um, the original saddle and nut were bone, but did not complement the density of the bamboo acoustically very well. So he adopted for black tusk uh, for the nut and saddle, um, which is the most expensive option, but he felt was the best for the instrument. So he paid for them. I did not mind upgrading your ukulele to black tusk. He top coated the finish with a satin clear coat, added black strap buttons with brass screws, and installed Fremont black strings with a gold, um, with Fremont solo as flat wound low G. Wow. Wow. How cool. Thank you so much, Daniel. I can't believe it. I can't believe all the work you've done on this ukulele. Whew. Let's get our tuner out. It already sounds good, even out of tune. Oh, okay. Let's get this. It's like a brand new custom made um, ukulele, or customized, I should say. So you can see his inlay. There we go. <laughs> it just sounds so good. I really like it. I like these strings. I think this is my first time using black or uh, black Fremont strings. I'm liking them. It's really cool. Very rich sounding. And warm and resonant. The sustain is so nice. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daniel. I really, really appreciate it. Obviously, you did not have to do any of this. And I really, really appreciate all that you did, all the love and time and effort that went in to this ukulele. I will treasure it forever. Um, I'm very excited. Thank you so, 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 so much. If you'd like to get um, a more um, look of this ukulele in action, tune into my live video. I'm going to be doing a live video in two days on Sunday, whatever that is. I think it's April 26th. Um, I'm going to be doing a live video at 1 p.m. Um, Eastern Time, 
and I'm gonna be playing this baby. So tune in for that, guys. We'll have some fun together. Thank you so much, Daniel. Bye guys, have a great day. Don't forget to play your uke today and I'll see you real soon.